Hi, and welcome to my channel, Get Your Hero Up a Tree. Uh, I'm Mark Actenberg, and it's based on a book that I wrote called um, Get Your Hero Up a Tree, How to Write a Movie That Doesn't Stink. This is a book I wrote, uh, basically an introductory to screenwriting, um, movies, and based a lot on my experience and my teachings and my ideas and thoughts and that I've gotten from things I've read, that I've done. Uh, I myself, you say, who am I? I'm an editor, a writer, a director, um, visual effects artist, uh, photographer. I do everything and anything uh, that uh, interests me. Um, and movies is just a, a passion of mine. Um, so, you know, I decided to write a book based on a lot of the stuff I was teaching. So this, this book goes beyond just writing and um, a screenplay. It it's a, talks about movies and having a, a bigger uh, approach to to writing a movie and thinking about the medium you're writing for, um, and really consider what a movie is versus a play or a novel or a poem or a radio play. Uh, what is a movie? What makes a movie a movie? And what makes um, you know it's so much fun to make a movie, even though it's very difficult to make a movie. So this was based on a lot of um, research and years of, you know, doing, uh, making TV shows and movies, uh, where animation, and I've done live action, and uh, basically had a lot of fun all my life doing this kind of stuff. Um, but one of the books that really inspired me early on uh, was uh, for the screenwriters that have come to this channel, is Wells Roots uh, writing uh, the script. This is a great book written in 1979 uh, from um, a practitioner like myself. Uh, he wrote for TV and wrote movies and he uh, eventually became a teacher and this book is just great, got great examples, a great approach. It's um, not didactic or formulaic uh, but just gives you you know tons of tools to put in your toolkit and think about when you are writing. Um, so it keeping this on your shelf and, and picking up something, you know, you're thinking about your characters, thinking about something, you know, first pick up my book and then, of course, uh, you pick up uh, Wells' book. Um, but uh, but it's it's great. I think it's out of print now, so you might have to buy a used copy, but I, I would wholeheartedly say that this is one of the best. And, and um, I'm not a big fan of uh, Robert McKee's book or um, uh, uh, Sid Field. Uh, that's just me, so that's you know, not a diss to them. But um, but you know I, this is way like right up my alley. Like really practical uh, and thoughtful uh, look at writing a movie or TV. I'm going to use them interchangeably, by the way. Uh, Three Uses of the Knife by David Mamet is another great book. You know all the Mamet books are great on directing. He has one on uh, theater, on acting. Um, so. Uh, they're, they're great little books uh, to remind you, um, uh, you know, of what you need to be thinking about when you're, when you're creating drama. And Three Uses of the Knife, of course, deals with the three-act structure for the most part. Um, and it's a great little read, you know, something that's just, you put it again into your tool, your toolkit of knowledge. Um, uh, and also with, uh, with Mamet, um, we'll transi transition here. Uh, is, uh, Bambi vs. Godzilla is a great book just about the film industry uh, and this one is you know var variations of you know industry talk but also uh, discussions about writing you know, what is it to make a movie and Mamet of course is a great writer but his the, the films that he's made as a director are great and they're small you know, I would call him sort of a mammoth noir. He's got his own sort of th style and thing going on. So, and of course, his famous playwright, that helps. Uh, but he understands the difference between plays and movies. That's one of the things I really like about Mammoth. He really does get it, you know, that the, when you're writing a movie, you're, you're, not, you're not writing a play. You're writing a different, for a different medium. So it's not just taking your play and just transporting it into a movie. It's, uh, it has to be adapted and uh, changed. Um, of course, everyone likes this book. William, William Goldman's Ventures in the Screen Trade. 
Just great to have on your shelf. Again, it's part memoir about uh, being in the movie business, uh, talk about the movie business. Uh, famous quote, I'm not even going to say it because anyone who's read it knows it. Um, but also, you know, a bit of a how-to. There's some stuff on Butch Cassidy. If you don't know William Goldman, uh, you do. You do know him because he's, of course, the writer of um, Princess Bride. Uh, but Butch Cassidy in the Sundance Kid, as well as... Um, uh, it's a terrific, you know, 1970s uh, thriller. Uh, All the President's Men uh, was written by him. So, you know, what, what can be said about Goldman that hasn't already been said? <clears throat> and going forward, uh, again, just for some recommendations for those who just coming into the channel. On Filmmaking by Alexander Andrew McKendrick. Alexander McKendrick. Again, like Wells Root, somebody who went from a practitioner of making movies and then into being a teacher. And uh, anyone who's been to Caltech, I'm sure there's lots of living filmmakers that had Alexander McKendrick as his, as their uh, teachers. I hear he was uh, very hard uh, asked, but um, but a, a, again, a great book and a collection of uh, his teachings. And if you don't know McKendrick, well, you should look him up because uh, his his work uh, in in British cinema was great. And then when he went to America, of course, he makes Sweet Sell, Sweet Smell of Success, which is one of the great American films. And then dutifully says, I'm done with this and decides to go become a teacher. But, you know, his all the knowledge that he had is, is in this book is so great. And for those of you who, you know, are... Uh, Want to be screenwriters? Always good to get a screenplay to take take a look at, and you could buy uh, printed screenplays. This one here is the screenplay for *Talented Mr. Ripley*, adapted by Anthony Mangella, um, and published. Uh, it was a Ripley was a, gr a great movie, and I was a big fan of Mangella. You know, some people don't like *The English Patient*. Just you know, it's fine if you don't like a movie. Um, I think it was great. Uh, and a hard adaptation, too, from, from Andace's book. Uh, Mingela's Talented Mr. Ripley is a great movie. Uh, you know, it's, it's a bit subversive. Uh, it's a th think, you know, pretends to be a thriller, but it's really a character study, kind of like a Coppola's Conversation is like that as well. It's kind of a genre movie, but not quite a genre movie. Um, and uh, and Mingela's, you know, uh, Cold Mountain was also just an, another great movie. And all three of those um, those films, you know, he had his own teacher, which is, of course, Walter Murch. Do that better. Walter Murch in the blink of an eye. And this is a book on editing. And of course, I'm an editor, so I'm, most editors have a copy of this book uh, because it is talk about the art of editing. And filmmaking is editing. It's, you know, it is, it is writing. You have to write it. Of course, you have to play it in front of the camera. But at the end of the day, you've got your jigsaw puzzle of shots, and and um, uh, you have to put them together and make them coherent. And the nice thing about film is it's so elastic, it's just an elastic medium. You can slow things down, you can speed it up, you can move things around. Uh, so what you thought you were going to do isn't what, what you end up doing. Sometimes what you thought you were going to do is exactly what you do. So, you know, different filmmakers have different stories about that. Um, but sometimes movies are, are saved in an edit, um, and um, others, you know, just you go into the edit suite and they're there. You know, you don't have to work very hard. I, had a, I worked on one TV series that was like that. It was, <laughs> it was, it was I was, you know, I'd like to say I'm a good editor, but you know, the, the it was hard to screw the edit up. It was good material, and that always helps. And that starts at a script, a very good place to start. And, of course, other collectibles and things like that. You know, I, I like anything and everything. I've got here the Evolution of the Iron Giant, you know, uh, which is a, a great, you know, little book. It's uh, little collectibles. And other things that are sort of off-topic but on-topic, uh, Scott McCloud's Understanding Comics. Um, so so any, anything to everything that interests you is great for a writer. Um, and even if it's not related to making movies or anything like that, uh, it's great to be informed. And, and this book is fun because it is uh, a book on, on comics, but all done in comic book form. So nothing better than to delve into what makes a comic a comic than actually doing it in the form in which you're, um, you're working in. So um, I did not write my book in screenplay format. 
because that wouldn't make any sense. Uh, which is also the reason why screenplays are strange beasts, because they're really not meant to be read. They're meant to be played. When you write a movie, it's meant to be played, and it's meant to be um, uh, cut and edited, and then music and sound effects, everything added to it. Uh, so, you know, they always say it's a blueprint, uh, which it is. It's a super important blueprint. But, uh, but it's, it's in and of itself, it's just, it's just words on a page, and those words have to be translated into an entirely different medium. And that's what this uh, channel's about. So I will do some sub uh, uh, episodes on some of the stuff in here, like my book and Wells Roots book. And, um, and if you stick around, uh, you can subscribe. And I'm just going to keep coming up with some fun content. Uh, and sometimes unexpected because uh, my my love for films uh, is varied so varied so it's not like it's going to be oh you know we're just going to talk about classic cinema period or or Kislovsky or you know Kubrick you know it's going to go I'm going to go all over the place um, so stick around and uh, have some fun and hopefully I'll learn something from you guys so take care I'll see you next time subscribe <laughs>